Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a quick tutorial in answer to a viewer's question. They want a countdown timer that will persist when the player stops playing and then comes back the next day uh, so that the countdown timer starts where they left off. Uh, this is true for, for anything. It doesn't have to be a countdown timer. Any sort of variable uh, that you want to remain the same when they come back to the game. So we've got our countdown variable here. So I've got a variable. I've named it countdown. I've set its initial value to the maximum that I want it to be. Um, you can set the minimum value to what you want and the maximum value to what you want here. And then you click on this. This is persist in dream. Uh, this is the important bit. This is the bit that makes this work. So you click on that. I've linked the current value to a number displayer, so it's going to display the number for us. And here is our countdown timer. So this is just an ordinary timer. It's set to one second and this will loop. So we've linked timer finished to reset timer. So this is going to loop round and round and round and round. And every time it gets to the end of one loop, it's going to uh, turn on this variable modifier, which is then going to take away one from our countdown variable at the top there. Okay, so let's just play that. So we've got 1000, 999, 998, 997, 996, etc. Let's go back in. Uh, as you can see, um, it's, it's, it stopped at 993. If I was to play it again, it starts again. 990, 999. If I reset, so still it's counting down, counting down. If I rewind like this, it will start at a thousand. Let's see what happens if you put that in a dream. So I've taken my uh, scene here of my timer. I've put it into a dream. There it is, there. I will reset progress on this so you can see it. Right, so here we go. Here goes the, the timer. We go in, it starts at a thousand and starts counting down. So I'm playing the game, the counter is going down and then I decide to come out. Okay, so um, then I go away. I do something else. Um, I look at some music, um, look at a nice collection of games, right? Then um, I go back, and as long as I don't press reset progress, when I go into continue, the counter starts where I left it. And that's it, that's all you need to do. And if you've got a level linked situation, um, then you will need to make sure that let me just come out of here completely. Um, you need to make sure that this variable here is available in all the levels. And if you want the countdown to continue in all the levels, then obviously you need this entire microchip. Uh, so as long as this uh, variable is in the level that you're linking to, it will pass that information. Even if there's no countdown carrying on, um, if you put that variable, copy of that variable with the same name, into a level then it will um it will carry forward that that number and that's it it's, it's that simple i hope that's answered your question thanks for watching catch you in your dreams